let's look at section 1.3 of the text. It talks about uh, just the basic terminology and ideas of computers and programs and talks a little bit about the history here. Introduces the concept of a bit, uh, something you probably have heard of before, binary digit that stores either a zero or one. It's like a, it used to be a physical switch. It could be on and off, but now it's an electromagnetic uh, value inside the computer that can be st uh, set, the voltage can be set to high, one, or low, zero. Um, talks about some of the early computers. Uh, there's some great movies recently about some of the early computing era. Uh, early computers used to take up whole rooms and made of physical switches. Um, they we call that a processor, and processors have certainly shrunk. They've gotten uh, much smaller over time, so we have really small, fast processors. Uh, where, where we had early external physical switches, we're now working in silicon, we're using silicon switches. Similarly, we have memory. Uh, we had actual physical memory. I have an example in my office of uh, core memory, where we had actually little magnets that you'd see wired on a grid, and these magnets would spin left to right. You could actually, I mean, these are actual physical magnets uh, that could store information. Uh, same with punch cards, we used to have those uh, very physical things that you could see. Nowadays, all that is, is very uh, small and stored in silicon circuits uh, using transistors. Uh, so we can store a lot more information than we used to. There's a nice little simulation here that you can run that just talks a little bit about computer processor and memory, uh, gets you used to that difference. I'll make sure you run through that. Um, we talk about some instructions in early machine language programming to give you an idea of where we're coming from. And these instructions were actually stored in uh, binary code. So we had each of these instructions like multiply 97 by the number 9 and store the result in memory location 98. Uh, we do uh, some binary uh, representations for that. And early programmers had to actually write out all their code in binary format. No, but don't worry, we won't have to do that. So just run through the simulation so you can see how that works. Um, similarly, uh, we can see how the processor executes some instructions and displays that information down here. So just run through these little activities. Uh, there's some uh, simple questions you can ask. A uh, bit can be have only a value of 0 or 1, so you can answer true or false. Again, don't worry, to, uh, this is just learning exercises here. So just, uh, I'll only see your results. So feel free to click on the wrong answer and the right answer and see what you can get uh, there. So go through this and uh, make sure you do complete all of these so I can see that you've at least uh, completed those. Um, and then we get down here a little bit more about machine language again and programming. And then uh, in the 1960s and 70s, we started these high-level programming languages. Way back uh, when I was in college, we learned Fortran, one of the early uh, programming languages. But Java is, uh, in some ways, not that different. So we have uh, more um, language where we can use words to represent variables and numbers directly rather than uh, binary representation. And we have something called a compiler, or an operation called a compiling. Uh, which will convert this program into machine language, which can be executed on our computer. Now, Java gets a little bit uh, more complicated than that in that we're, when we compile Java programs, uh, it doesn't, it compiles it down into what's called bytecode, which isn't machine specific, which can run on um, any machine as long as that machine has what is called a Java virtual machine that Java virtual machine runs on you know, a lot of different uh, computers and devices and will then run these Java compiled programs, which are called bytecode. So again, go through this, uh, these instructions, uh, I mean, this little exercise, uh, match up these words with the right areas uh, to review these concepts.